pleasure to show you a gentleman jazz bass which has come back to us on consignment and the good thing for you is kind of twofold the instrument has got some play some age on it and I think may have uh, maybe a little more sound because of that and um, the price is a little bit lower so uh, I don't expect this bass to be here for a long time let's take a quick look at it and uh, see what we got starting at the top as I usually do. Um, these are machines that we're not buying so much anymore, but these used to be kind of be my favorite. Brass with, uh, with engraving. I just always thought it was beautiful. It made me think that uh, uh, the guy making these machines ought to be making jewelry instead. Nice scroll, a large scroll. This is a big base, you know. So a larger scroll. Um, beautiful piece of ebony on the fingerboard and I would have to admit that this neck is a little bit bigger it's not the, a big baseball bat uh, but a person with a small hand would find this uh, to be large personally I find it comfortable because it's a natural posture for my hand nice open curves that I can keep playing so I can keep playing all night um, no breaks. So during the time that this bass has been owned and played, there's a few scuffs, but uh, it's practically in new condition. I love this little detail here that Wilfer uh, uh, does often, maybe most of the time. It uh, puts this little strip of ebony here at the interface between the ribs and the heel of the neck. That's great. Nice flamed wood. Violin corners, as you see. And... Um, this is a very, very nice top. Straight, even grain. I have to say it's a little bit wider here in the middle, but uh, quite even and very straight. And then uh, as I move down, this base is, it's not old, okay, but the health is perfect. The, the uh, F holes are still flat across here, which indicates two things to me. One is that the base bar was properly pre-stressed, pre which helps support this middle here and keeps the F-holes flat. And the other thing, uh, on this side here, these F-holes can sometimes get out of alignment if the sound post is too short, maybe missing for a while, who knows what happens. But these, again, on both sides, these F-holes are beautifully flat and straight. So the top is just uh, still in, a, in a, an almost a new configuration or the shape. Flame on the back. Let's take a look in the back. I wouldn't call it highly flamed. I see some. But the other thing that I see here uh, all, all across here is perfect medullary rays. So this, this back piece is perfectly quarter sawn. So uh, what a beauty.